What is going on gamers? It is Dom here back once again. This time I'm going to be helping you guys out finding the top five websites that I hope you guys as content creators, whether you're doing stuff on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, all the above, uh, other places and whatnot, uh, get some game keys that you can review, stream, everything in between. So, starting off here, we're going to go with number five is Indie Boost. It's pretty good. I enjoy it. I think, honestly, smaller level YouTubers under 1,000 subs will see a lot of potential in this one. They are having some uh, reconstruction on how they do things, and the site's gotten a lot better. Before, I'd have some problems, um, honestly getting stuff to load uh, but they're pretty quick when it comes to game keys um, getting back to you some of the stuff for emailing developers as well as their support on twitter and uh, down in the bottom right you should see the thing over there um, that's gonna be your best way to contact them and they're pretty quick when it comes to uh, support um, and that's definitely one of the things that's very appreciated um, as a content creator there uh, highly recommend it it's pretty good so it's not gonna have like some huge don't be expecting like halo or call of duty or anything like that but if you're a small content creator this is kind of like a good range for you guys to see kind of you know small time indie developers as well as you know indie uh content creators it's got stuff for playstation switch uh xbox vr it even has like little categories here for like the game types here they even got mobile stuff there um so it's pretty nice i highly recommend it if you're a small time youtuber or content creator I should say uh under a thousand subs very much um beneficial for you guys Next up for you guys, we have AdShot. It's pretty new. I just heard about it recently. Um, I will have links for all these down below, by the way. Don't worry about that. Uh, it would be very helpful in this case if you used my creator referral code. Um, as you can see, there's some uh, benefits there for getting like five euros and whatnot. Uh, but in the case of AdShot here, I enjoyed it much because it kind of gives you that range of, hey, um, how much are you giving back to AdShot and the game developers, and then they'll also give back to you, essentially. It's not just about, hey, you have a massive fan base, massive subscriber base, but also making sure that you're actually putting out content for those games. It also does some stuff with charity and tells you how much money that you're making for them, and there's even chances, like I said, like with the referral code, where you can even make some money back there, which is pretty cool, aside from getting some free game keys and doing some stuff for charity, as you can see here. Um, so it'll be nice. It'll tell you instant sponsorship that you can jump in right in here for uh, I was eligible for the resolution steam key that is one to mention right there It'll tell you stuff that you might have to do, like in this case, go to the Twitter page. Once you're done, you'll go through and give the evidence of the video that you did, as well as some feedback on the game, what you thought about it, and uh, then you'll finish up the sponsorship, and your little star meter will go up. So I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty new, um, so it can only go uh, up from here. Discord's pretty good. I've been talking in the Discord there, and uh, they're pretty helpful and pretty good small community. So I'm really curious to see what is going to come out at the end of this um, with AdShot. So there's uh, just another kind of like in between one uh they do stuff with um uh bethesda i saw some stuff there um and it's worldwide it's so you don't have to worry about um like certain keys and whatnot and getting locked down after that we have terminals.io which i absolutely love i've been using this for years i think honestly longer than some of the um other ones that i'll mention in the first and second place here but i absolutely love it because one feedback they just they always they keep you up to date with mail and whatnot and they even branch out from the developers to actually get in contact with you and getting your feedback with games i very much appreciate that with terminals they even give you some game news so before the uh, like um, the Spongebob game was coming out. They were telling you stuff about that. Uh, a game that I love, Pong Quest with Atari. Uh, they, they tell you about games like before they even come out. Then they start prepping you. Then they say, hey, you can request a key. Um, and they're pretty... I will say the reason why they're linked... Uh, a little bit lower than the other two is because they do have um, a little bit of waiting room when it comes to developers getting back to you as you'll see with the second one also uh, having the ability to just instant or not as long of a wait is pretty nice um, but so for instance if we click on like the spongebob game here battle for bikini bottom there is that little link area there we can request the code someone will say hey give us a reason why you want this code how many are you going to do if you can do giveaways stuff like that which is pretty nice there give you the description of the game uh one thing that i do really hope if you're watching this for terminals please include stuff for like press kits i know in the emails some of them do have them but if they were on the page directly linked here that'd be pretty nice uh and helpful honestly so yeah it's really cool to see like like some stuff about the game and whatnot but having like the actual like png images uh stuff that you can like 
you know physically have like a file for would be pretty cool whenever you get the uh the key but yeah i very much enjoy terminals highly highly recommend all these on here but uh terminals been using this one for a while and very much approve of it for you guys um more on the higher side for youtubers and content creators i should say so uh, if you're small time, might not as easy to like get game keys and get kind of slid right in there, honestly. Coming in at number two is a key mailer, actually. This one I've been using better half of probably four, five years. I love it. To see the growth of key mailer is amazing. Uh, some stuff here, like even when I was under probably 3,000 subscribers, I got a key for Gears 5, which is just amazing because growing up playing that game, um playing that series getting a review key for that game was so much fun um and kind of seeing like it has stuff for small time game developers and uh content creators it has stuff for the larger ones too so you could see yeah your gears your fallouts stuff like that which is really neat um it also has stuff for a dlc something that's a little bit different than some of the other sites um also but like I said, it is a little bit slower for some developers to get back to. There is a pre-approved slot for some games, which is pretty nice. It tells you like the popular games by number of keys requested. It's it's a good baseline of seeing like, okay, what's promoted and what's kind of probably easier for you to get your hands on to uh, try out and give like your thoughts on. Um, but also seeing like, hey, what's really like, getting some attraction for new games. And that's um, what I've honestly used to see like, oh, okay, like Dinosaur Fossil Hunter, a game that I would never have on my radar, but then seeing like people People are really enjoying it and being like okay maybe there's something to it maybe i'll go check it out there uh, satisfactory prime example i would know nothing about that game um but seeing how like it's it's pretty fun it's it's pretty good and uh you get a, a massive library of games on key mailer to check out they have more than games also so you can also have like uh, money sponsorships you can have like uh, i know the world right now is not the best place to go out and uh go to like pax prime stuff like that but they have tickets there too where they can just give it to you for uh like media exposure and whatnot which is pretty dope if i do say so um and yeah most of these do have uh press press stuff also and another it's pretty easy to get in contact with the uh the people i have a link to their email for the uh, developers and whatnot for the keys so coming in at number one though like i said at number one this time is woo it i very much love and approve of it so much because aside from you do have some stuff that you can apply for there is also the uh you can see what you're instantly like eligible for what's available what you can get like right now and um it it, it protects the developers also so if you have like 10 game keys and you haven't used a single one you know it'll tell you hey you have to at least have one video out for every three keys that you request which is a nice like little safeguard there for developers um and in content creators you can just keep steamrolling stuff now the difference between key mailer and move it though in that case is key mailer it keeps tracking so if i do like if i had to get a game key of like uh like arma and i pump out an entire series let's play 100 videos they'll be able to see that on key mailer on move it it's only one so it's you know there's some spin-offs between some of these of like how it's better in some ways but um i definitely say woo it is the good ground between everybody so for instance if i click on like core defense it'll say minimum subscriber rate minimum follower uh rate which is pretty nice there but if i go and click on a game that's a bit bigger that i can't get into it'll say average view rates or it'll say like how many um like subscribers you would need to have so it's pretty cool and it gives you like actually like a goal to go towards so i was like oh man like this game be pretty cool to check out so I just keep on growing and then when you're eligible for it you're like cool and i can see what it's all about and um yeah mostly this video is just to help out uh content creators to say hey if you're on a budget but you still want to try out some cool games and even help and give back to the developers and see what they got you know it's uh there's many options there for you guys hopefully there'll be more than just five but honestly i could honestly name just five i can't think of anything else besides these to name and uh, they all have different perks and whatnot to each of them but that's gonna do it here if you guys know of any more leave them down in the uh comments below if you need help with anything leave them down in the comments below as always other than that everybody hope you're staying safe during these times peace out